Oh, welcome back if you're returning from episode 1, or welcome if you're not. <laughs> this is a 2022-2022 playthrough of a little old game called Life is Feudal Forest Village. Uh, this is year 2, start of year 2, the year 1 is going to be closed. There is actually a village, well, settlement I suppose is the right word. Hardly a village, but start it off through the mist. Uh, so yeah, year 1 we survived, we did alright. Uh, haven't run out of anything. We're self-sufficient for clothing. We're making tools. Um, got plenty of vegetables. The fruit's all gone. Did good for firewood. Let's take one of those out actually, because we're oh, it's minus five. So early spring. Um, I've got four people spare gathering stone because we're pretty much out of stone. Uh, wood, 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 wood. I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and just build another lumberjack's lodge, really, even though I'm going to have trouble finding somebody to man it. But, there you go. Hmm. Got a little causeway over there and do that, anyway. Uh, let's have a look. Let's pop it there. So we get good coverage, so we've got one on that side of the village. <coughs> the first and more established one over here. Uh, 20 wood, got that. 10 stone, got that. 10 grass, just got that. Alright. Let's speed this up. I'm mulling whether to grow in the fields when we start growing. Gonna need some spuds. Are we? Can't imagine 1600 is enough to see us through for a year and a half. Can gather as well. Yeah. Why not grow any spuds this year? Is, is that risking it? Because if I stick a couple of gatherers out, they'll end up collecting vegetables and fruit anyway, so. Might change that and grow some grass in that field. Another field of flax. And did we get that? No, I didn't. <laughs> Click OK. Make the green thing go away. Make the little grass icon go in there. So I'll grow some grass in that field. Some more flax for clothes in that one. Uh, I think the clothing person's run out of materials. So twenty-five clothes. Yeah, that's decent. I'm not making tools, am I? No, I'm not making primitive tools. I've got two people... Why, why are those figures surprising me? I thought there was... Oh, there it is. That's what's missing. That's what I can understand. Uh, 42, I don't think we need you anymore. Let's get rid of you. Bunger. Oh, good lord, come on. I don't seem to be able to click things. Right, so we've got two foresters out now. Got four bods spare. Oh, come on, really? Got four bods labourers. They're gathering stone still. I just need wood. I need loads of wood. I've got can we fit another one? Sort of, but... Yeah, we could. Could have a third lodgeroo. So that ends there. And there, so we'd have to be out there, really. It's quite a long way out. Still, we'll do it. Right, let's get that going. Right, so, do we have a plan for year two? Not really. Uh, I think one of the main priorities is to get fish farms going. Which, again, are heavy on wood. Yeah. And the bridge sections that you need to extend to the next fish farm is wood. So actually, yeah, that third forester's lodge, I haven't really got much choice. Hmm. 
Here comes the green stuff. Marvellous. Spring has arrived. Spring is here. Um, where's the temperature? Plus one. There's a chance it's two loads in the fields. And the farming is off. So I can free up another one of you. Because we did very well on firewood. Probably explains why we've been using a lot of wood as well. 460. I don't know what temperature they stop using firewood. Maybe about 5 plus 5 perhaps. Because I noticed they started using firewood last fall when it dropped to plus 2. But I don't know how early it's dropped before that, before they started using it. I know what I mean, but I'm not saying it very well. <laughs> Duh. Uh, okay, so what's going to happen this year? We've got three teenagers they'll be coming up through, so we'll end up with 12. The child will probably won't come through before the end of the year, but that's all good. 480. I think I'll wait until you've made your next batch. Oh, excellent. Forester out, so we've got three Forester Lodges on the go. Excellent. Excellent. Still ain't got enough wood to do anything, but that's alright. That'll come. Is there any wood I can gather while I'm waiting for the Foresters to get on top of things? Oh, that's interesting. No, it's only a 10. I thought it was going to be a 14. Try and leave the trees to grow as big as I can rather than chopping them down, you know, out of desperation kind of thing. Um, purely to get the most out of them, to, you know, get the best resource. Uh, I'll have that as well. And we'll have that. Yeah, the best um, number of resources, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you're doing. Are you doing wood? Yes, you are. Excellent. Right, they've started on those wood I've just told them to do. I don't know what the size of the batches is for firewood before they take them into storage. But when he empties that out, I'm going to release him from his bonds. Or her. Whoever it is. 16, come on. However. There they are. Nice convenient walk to work. We like that. Ooh, that's another thing we need to do. That's two two things we need to do. Come on, hurry up and finish. I want to get on. Really? There's a pig right behind you sniffing your backside. Get it. Right. That's that done. Cool. So, he's free. Um, I've forgotten what I was going to do now. I'm that excited. Fish farm, fish farm, fish farm. Yeah, so we've got 150 wood. We've got... 10 ore we've got, 50 clay we've got, so fish farming is. Let's see you cracking on. What? No. Hmm. You're gonna. No. Oh god, they're doing this thing again. No, have you started? Have you started? Tell me you've started. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's weird. So they load the resources up from the bottom left corner of, of the farm. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Okay. At least I know. <sighs> Can't say I'm particularly amused, but at least I know. So, uh, where are we? We have nobody in the professions on that column. Three gathering wood. Two fields. Farmers in the fields. One hunter. And three builders. Yeah, I think we're good to go. So uh, we'll get the fish farm in place. Probably start developing the um, bridge out ready for the next one. Oh, and I need to build wells and pyres, funeral pyres. Wells to help fight fires when they come in the storms. Because I think they're probably going to start this year. I don't know, can't remember. Maybe next year. And when people start dying from childbirth or accidents or whatever need a pyre to burn them so they don't create plague or whatever it is. So yeah, there's more little jobs to do. And here will be the first of the storms. Let's see if we have any, uh, <laughs> anything to catch fire. I hope not, because I'm not ready for it. 
And annoyingly, the, the heavy rain doesn't put the bloody fire out, I think. I seem to remember having a grumble about that at some point. But then I grumble about so many things. Who knows? I love this effect again. The storm comes and the, the waves start getting leery and choppy. Very simple, but I don't know how I felt. Keeping half an eye out down here in the message box for a red blob that says your building is on fire or worse to that effect. And I think that's about done. Excellent. So three of them. The other one can go gather stuff. Just giving them orders to gather stuff. And the first fish farm is gathering fish. Excellent. We are a fish producing nation. Another quick switch around. I've put two of the former builders into gathering. Because, yeah, that was part of the plan. I forgot I'm growing grass, not potatoes. But I'll remember now, so that's alright. Uh, that one builder is going to just plod along at these bridge sections and then... We'll stick another T section in when they've done that, and then another. F oh, no, we won't do it a second fish farm, will we? Because I think that needs clay. Yeah, 50 clay bugger. So we need the clay mine <laughs> before we can do a second fish farm. Quality. Rock, paper, scissors. So I've set building instructions to build a well there. One there, so it's on the way out to the buildings that are here, and one up there, I think it is. So there's three wells to deal with the fires. I've also seen instructions to build um, pyres, funeral pyres. Can't think where. But there's one about here, so it will cover that area, including the fish farms. A second down there, so it will cover that area. And like a third up here, I think, to cover this bit. And because I'm not going to have anyone spare for a while, and there's only one bod to do all that. I've got a feeling I'm just going to let this run. <laughs> Good old Leandro. My lone warrior, my little chap. Wandering through, doing everything by himself. While the world comes crashing down around him in a thunderstorm. It's dark now. Thunderstorm fit for the end of the world. Very impressive. And Leandro is equally as impressive. He's equal to the task, without any shadow of a doubt. And we've got one, and we've got a second. Hmm. I think the storm's coming to an end. Um, so the fields are still going. They're harvesting now, so there'll be two people will be free at some point in the fairly near future, I think. And they can join Leandro on his task to build all this stuff. Two, four, six, seven, nine, so he's got something else going on at the minute. Um, yeah, nothing else to report yet, apart from the world's ending with a huge thunderstorm, as I said at the beginning. Oh, teenager, Efren, grown up, ready to work, excellent. Two builders will work through all these kind of structural bits, you know, don't know what you want to call them really, to get wells to fight fires and pyres to burn the dead. Excellent. Just had a bit of a change of mind again. Um, this field. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. The flax field, I'm going to see if I can squeeze some wheat out of it. So it won't, it won't be a full harvest. Too late in the year to plant a normal growing speed thing. Um, and expect it to give us a full crop in time before the temperatures drop below zero and all the field dice, but um, nevertheless I want a bit of wheat because I want to start thinking about turning that into flour so we can use it in a bakery because you need a bakery to bake um, pies and stuff to be able to send them out on a fishing expedition so I'm kind of thinking ahead obviously getting a bit ambitious but uh, you need quite a lot of things from memory, you need an, a furnace to make ore for the ship or somewhere other else, huge amount of resources but Probably won't get it done this year, but I've got to start thinking about it. All the pies and wells are almost done. 
those, <laughs> those two bods have been plodding along quite happily. Two pies left. Wells are done. Uh, one of the people was released from the field, so I've whacked him in the fish farm to just um, take our first collection of fish. Just about to run out, so good timing. Before I can build a second fish farm, which we're going to need, and we need this clay mine. And while those two bods over the year have been working through the essential buildings, like these wells and piles I've just been building, uh, the wood has crept up high enough for us to build a clay mine. So we like that. By the time they get round to it, because there's not many of them. Um, when the person finishes the fish farm, I'll get them into building as well, but nevertheless, they'll only move into that pyre, and then one of the others will move into there before they can even think about the clay mine. So it's a way off yet. Um, it's 27 degrees, so the temperature's holding. That's good. And um, my mm. lady here, Kyra. Hey, Kyra. We like Kyra. She's um, <coughs> whacking a wheat harvest in. See how much we can get out of that. We've had a nice um, field of grass out as well. We've got mucho grass. And all is going rather well. The decision to go down the route of primitive tools doesn't seem to be too bad. Still, we're still using the stocks that we made last over the winter and there's still shed loads left. Clothing's also looking okay so yeah, interesting lesson there. Primitive tools are not a bad investment in resources and return anyway. Behold my clay mine. I have a hole in the ground with a wooden hide structure over it and doors to show you where to go. So a clay producing society it would appear now. Excellent. Clay of which is needed for fish farms and I think houses, the big ones. Actually on that point, yeah, we need to think about a new uh, population, more population as well. And we're in early fall and the temperatures only just started dropping. It was holding at 26, 27 for ages and it's just started dropping. So I'll have to keep a <laughs> quite a close eye on that and see how much wheat I can get out of that field. Today I might leave it till about... This, that's really dropping fast. I might leave it till about... 15-ish, perhaps. Yes. Eighteen, still plodding along. Yeah, decided to bite the bullet and get some piles in. They are needed. There we go. I'll do that side another day. Plus 17, the time is approaching. Might have made a bit of a boob. <laughs> I was so busy laying roads, trying to get them in before it got dark, that I forgot about the temperature in the field, and it's gone down to plus 11, now it's 10. But I've just issued the order to gather immediately. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get 200 or whatever, 250 maybe out if I'm really lucky. Oops. Yeah, one fish farm ain't gonna cut the mustard. And it's, it's at the point now where we can just start gathering from it. Now it's full, we're just gauging how the fish were doing. And it was a lot higher than two when we gathered the first time. So I'm gonna need another one. I need clay, I'm gonna need other stuff. The wood's coming in thick and fast now, which is good. Now I've got three lumberjacks. No, Forester's out. That's all good. Oh, Christ, it's still gathering that whatever grass from you. Okay. Still, it's all good. Got loads of roads built. Um, yeah. And we'll just see if we get that field of um, wheat in in time because it's getting very, very cold. 
I think the game feels sorry for me. <laughs> it's been stuck at plus two for a while. I'm going to jinx it now. I'm saying this out now. Been sitting there at plus two for a while. I think it's sort of I'm kidding myself, of course, but it's almost as if it's looked at this and thought, "Ooh, he hasn't got long enough to do that. Perhaps I better give him a bit longer." <laughs> Bloody idiot. Did well with the models on the um, crops as well. Can't get any closer, but it's a nice effect with plus one. Yeah. And here come the white bits. Nought. Bottoms. 183 I didn't get in. Still got 240 in. Mm, minus one. And the field... Dies. Bollocks. Never mind. It was a gallant effort. Whatever your name was. Um, Cairo, wasn't it? And now I think a quick bit of clearing. Get rid of some of the old stuff that's built up. Awesome. Some nice sized trees there. What's wrong with that one? I want it. Oh, and there. Definitely becoming sad. <laughs> this is—I find this is the sort of game I'm happy to sometimes to just like sit here and look. Issue some instructions. They're all potting around doing stuff. Send it down at normal speed. Let them wander around the world we're creating, and in this case, chop down trees and all that sort of shit. Hmm. Do need clay though. We send the first of our villagers down the hole. It's a really safe place to go, I'm sure. Oh, Kara. You're, you're stalking me, aren't you? I know. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so, um, I forgot what I was going to say, it's fish farm. So we're going for clay. set up and uh, yeah nobody else spare so we just bod along and wait till the next milestones reached yeah definitely got the, the balance of fish coming in wrong we've already run out and there's only 38 in the farm ready to collect so I think a second farm isn't actually going to be enough <laughs> God. which is a bit of a big hey ho still it is what it is we'll do what we need to do. So, um, get the supply of fish up, I think, is the first priority. And keep everything else going, of course, like the firewood and the clothing and the tools, for which we have resources to do all. Uh, fish farm. I wanted to get a house built, get some more residents in, but I don't suppose there's a lot of point when you've got no fish. Got loads of meat, though. They don't seem to be that bothered about eating that. Don't really understand how the how the the game decides what the priority is. Why are you doing that? Oh, you a perfectly good job to do. Oh, that's all right. Um, I'll take one out of there, and I'll just watch the firewood because 480. We clearly create more firewood than we're actually using, so gives me a bit of movement. Excellent. We've done it. Got enough resources for the fish farm in place. Three builders assigned. Second fish farm being built as we speak. There we go. Golly. It's all very exciting. Alright, so we've just come to the end of year two. Uh, yeah, not bad shape. We have enough of all the resources we need. Tools, clothing, food. Um, ability to make more clothing and more tools and together build more food? What am I talking about? 
farm more food. Um, the question is, what do we do with with year three? There are options. Seems as though the first option, unfortunately, is to stabilise the fish uh, production, I suppose. But we also need to increase the population, need another house. Yeah. And then I guess also we can start looking forward to things like, um, like or bakeries to make cakes to be able to send ships out on expeditions in the sea. Marvellous. Um, so yeah, on that one, we'll, uh, we'll call this one finished and yeah, be back for year three soon. Cheers, bye.